I know that you've met many Chinese leaders before, and you know pretty well about China, how China is run. And you even asked a President Xi to autograph uh, his volume of the book, uh, The Governance of China, Xi Jinping. What is your take on his book and his concept of governance? The Chinese president gave me his books and with, uh, with his autograph. His in this uh, book, uh, I think, uh, first of all, it's very important when you are in office to read what you want to, to do for people. Uh, a good, very good French president, Mr. Giscard d'Estaing, read a book when he was in charge to explain what is his strategy. And I think it's a good way of working. Uh, in this book, uh, there is a clear strategy of China. And it's important for everybody to understand the clear strategy. For example, a lot of people were thinking that uh, China will become just like West countries with the development of uh, its market. But with Xi Jinping in this book, it's clear that uh, the Chinese characteristic of socialism is the main point. And the main point is the leadership of the Communist Party. It's clear that uh, how is the political model. So it's clear to understand what the country wants to do. It's clear. And in that matter, we have a lot of vision about, for example, innovation. I think it's a, very important word in the, in the book about innovation. And uh, uh, there is always a uh, uh, very strong uh, word for use and uh, to ask use to be innovative and to go in uh, uh, university, innovation center, cluster and so on, mm. to, to develop innovation, to invent, to, to to think the future. And I think that uh, the main point in this book is to choose the future, to choose innovation. You know, uh, sometimes in Europe, a lot of people are thinking that uh, uh, an old country has a, an old vision. And I would like to explain that we can be a very old country, but you can also have a very new vision about the future. And uh, that's uh, what is uh, read in this book. I believe that you have also seen some fracture of relations between major countries. Uh, Mr. Afran, relations between China and the European Union have seen some difficulties recently uh, over issues such as human rights and investment. Are any suggestions for both sides? Yes. I agree with you, uh, the situation is not so good. We have to improve it. How can we improve the situation? Firstly, is to respect our old civilization. We have a very old civilization in China and in France, and we have to respect our civilization, firstly. Secondly, we need to understand what we need to have to make together. And I think the last agreement in the world is Paris Agreement. So we need to build consensus. It's difficult to have consensus in any fields, mm. very difficult. Between China and Europe, we have differences. We have differences in political matter. We have not the same political model, of course. That's not new. We know that. And uh, we need to have a, a, a good uh, respect of our model. Our model is democracy and is not the same model. That's uh, uh, the strategy of China with the Communist Party. So we have a very uh, big difference, but we know that for many years. But we have also and field, we, we need cooperation. It's the economical fields. 
So in this field, we have to work together to improve a win-win strategy. We have signed a very important agreement with investments between China and Europe, and we need to improve this agreement and to develop our investments, common investments. So we need to have a win-win strategy. It's not good uh, for in, in everything for China, it's not good for everything for, for Europe. So we have to improve and to uh, promote our own interest in this agreement. So that's a cooperation for economical uh, strategy, but also for the market, but also, and thirdly, we have to uh, develop a common international strategy a new multilateralism. The multilateralism has been found in 1945, 75 years. It's a very old strategy. And in this period, the world were not what it is now. Africa was not the same. But of course, Asia was not the same. So we have a lot changed since 1945. So we have to think a new world. And I think from my own point of view, that the main point is to promote the Paris consensus, the planetization, that's the strategy that we have to develop. When we know and when we read the speeches of President Xi Jinping, and when we read the speech of President Biden about the planet, the vision is not so different. So we can have consensus in this matter. Of course, we have difference. We have ideological difference. We have very, very a lot of differences, but we need to promote our consensus. And I think that the planetization, the vision of the new planet for humanity is a good idea to promote a consensus. Mm. And uh, that's the reason why I think that we can go ahead above our differences and to have a vision, a common vision of the future of the world. 